We'll come around here to the annex, which is zipped on. I don't use the little um, track in the back. It's just putting this annex on by yourself is very tough. Um, when me and my wife set this thing up, um, it goes together real easy and comes back apart and, and stows real easy. Uh, 30 minutes to break down camp. Um, that's probably just a leisurely pace for us. Um, you can see I have the bows up right here. Um, I only set one window up. I'm just looking to get a little flow through there and then down through the annex. Now this is my second rooftop tent that I have owned. The first one I had was the small little Smitty built. And I have to give that thing two thumbs up. That was a great little uh, unit, nothing wrong with it. Um, I paid $600 for it uh, on a Christmas sale and I got some good use out of it. I bought the annex for it, which was another 149. Problem with that is, uh, and why we went to this bigger uh, unit is you see that ladder is stowed inside and the porta potty is inside. And I usually keep a gear bag in there and I put something down on the bottom. Why we wanted to go to something different is when you come down these stairs at night, you know, maybe you don't want to just get totally dressed. You come down the stairs here and going to use the porta potty. So you got to go outside with that one and then come back inside, zip it up, go to the bathroom, come back out. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. I like to keep things super simple. Now I started talking about that track. I just zip this annex on and I don't run this through the track. I just leave the cover uh, on it and leave this hang like this. A few little things that I've done. Um, I have hangers that I hang up in here on these hooks. Uh, I installed these lights and yeah, they actually still do work. So that, that helps at night. You come down the stairs, you feel for it, you turn that on, come down, use the restroom, go back up. Everything's wonderful. I'll take you up top in the tent and show you a few little modifications I've done there. First one that should be totally obvious to most of you, I use an air mattress. I got rid of the little mat that was in here. Um, at 235, 240 pounds, my hip goes right through that, that mattress and um, it's, it's like sleeping on the ground for the most part. So I prefer an air mattress. It's lighter, um, it's easier to use. Of course, if you get a hole in it, that could be a fail point also. How I set that up is I built a little box over here. And this runs, let's see if we can kind of get this a little better. This runs all of uh, electronics. So it's two um, USB ports. So charging, uh, I can charge four devices. And this is all piped in downstairs to the, uh, the 75 amp hour uh, Optima. And then it has a little uh, 12 volt that I can either run this endless breeze. And if it's super hot, I'll set this up in the window and turn that on and that'll actually ventilate really, really well in here. Now the Antuna Sky is got two panels here that are not opened, but uh, you can uh, unzip that and uh, actually see the sky and get great ventilation that way also. Um, that's kind of about it up in here. Uh, I have a, the Coleman, uh, I think these are like a negative or a, a zero bag and they offer a lot of um, a lot of warmth and I really really enjoy these and then I did uh, keep that light out of the uh, Smitty built I thought that was a great light I cannibalized that out I zip tied it in and it ties in down here also and I bought a little switch off of uh, off of eBay so let's might actually get some better light that really wakes it up in here and makes it makes it nice. So you got about everything that you need in here. Problem for me is the setup. The setup takes a little bit of time for me to do on my own. And most of the time, like on these trials events that I do, um, it's just me setting up. My wife's at work and she may or may not be out this weekend, but uh, it provides a little bit more for me to do got the president of the uh, trials club just showing up damon barda 
and he utilizes a little uh, little tent trailer that works out well for him also so coming to the other side we'll see these boxes again and my gear I, I bought this uh, this little deal right here um, it came with a smitty built scissors a pair of uh, pliers uh, a sharpie a multi-tool just screwed to it you can kind of see how the water is configured now I get them all in here I built it to fit and then I use a rag in, in the center right here just to um, truss them up I carry a fire extinguisher in the back and a fire extinguisher up here in front also and then another view I got all my little deodorant and everything set up hat machete um, I think this is all set up with the uh, yeah gels and stuff and I got little things you know toilet paper and stuff are, is set up in here that I'll put out later things that you need next to the to the bathroom <laughs> so that's about uh, that's about it up front uh, I utilize these stainless steel cups got them from Walmart and I use it kind of like uh, I call my one motorcycle concept uh, this is my one cup concept. Uh, my wife likes the little ones, but I'll make coffee in that. I'll drink water out of I'll mix some of the hammer fizz up for uh, re uh, recovery um, on electrolytes. Up front, we have uh, also the Snowmaster remote, and it's solar, and it fell off the dash as I was coming in. But uh, you set that up, and you can check the battery voltage and control everything from right here in the cab as you're going down the road. So that's kind of cool. I'll put that back up there to get a good charge on it. Well, that's about it for this second uh, video. Um, I'll do a third on a little bit more into uh, the thing, but I think I've pretty much covered my, uh, my full realm of what I have here. My thoughts are where I'm going with this. I believe I'm going to sell the uh, the tent, the annex, the uh, the little shell. I'm going to uh, sell the bed, and I'm going to take these back doors off, and I'm going to build myself a camper. And I was thinking about doing a uh, pop up, and I think uh, just for ease of things, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, all aluminum. Uh, 30 thousandths aluminum siding and a one inch thick and I'll have that uh, covered with uh, styrofoam and then on the inside I will do some type of birch uh, eighth inch paneling I'll put all that together with a uh, like a bonded um, glue just to t that, that'll tie everything together like a, a honeycomb or a monocoque kind of like an aircraft panel is made and I believe I can put that whole camper together and it's going to be a box van design so the back will uh, drop down i can put my motorcycle inside i'll have my cooler and uh, i'll have room for three solar panels and my 200 amp hour battery so that should be it uh stay tuned if you kind of like this kind of thing uh thumbs up i appreciate it and hit uh, subscribe um, you will see some things. I am going to take you through the camper build. I'm uh, targeting to do that probably sometime uh, mid-April. I'll do it after our last trials event. Um, I believe I can do the whole thing in less than one month, and that'll be the entire frame. I'm going to do a very unique um, three-point uh, setup on it and it'll allow the frame to flex a little under it, kind of how they build the uh, expedition rig. So I still have a lot of research to do. If you have comments uh, on that, hit me up in the comment section. We'll uh, start a dialogue, and uh, maybe all of us can learn from each other. For now, I'm Tim Robel. I really appreciate each and every one of your uh, views and likes. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you here next time.